Good morning, good people. My name is Brother Christopher Popravac. I've been a priest for 48 years and a Capuchin friar for 57. I'm here in San Lorenzo de Brindis Friary in San Antonio, Texas, where I serve as a formation director for our men in ministry training. I'm also a professor of theology at the Abley School and St. Mary's University. One of the saints we remember today is the Apostle Philip. Unlike some of the lesser known men who Jesus asked to follow him, we know more about this disciple who hails from the hometown of the apostles Andrew and Peter. In my opinion, the most surprising thing we learn about Philip is that Jesus goes to find him. Normally, it's the other way around. Jesus is the one who's sought out, or he's introduced by another apostle. Why does Jesus take the initiative in Philip's case? Well, here's my guess. I think Andrew spoke highly of him. Andrew would have wanted Philip to share in the joy of meeting the Messiah. They came from the same town. That Jesus was the Messiah was Andrew's conclusion after having spent an afternoon with him. He was so overwhelmed that he rushed to tell his brother Peter. He brings Peter to Jesus and then probably tells Jesus, oh, we've got to go and find Philip. Like-minded people hang out together. For sure, Andrew would have known other people who yearned for the days of the coming Messiah. He would have likely prayed in the synagogue with Philip. He might have discussed Torah and the prophets with him. That's my guess. After meeting Jesus and being invited to follow him, Philip too is convinced. In fact, he's downright enthusiastic. Shortly afterwards, we find him reaching out to Nathaniel. And Philip tells Nathaniel, we found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth. Nathaniel isn't impressed. He replies, can anything good come from Nazareth? That doesn't dampen Philip's enthusiasm. He won't let his friend miss this opportunity, and he tells Nathaniel, come and see. In other words, find out for yourself. There's no doubt in Philip's mind that once Nathaniel meets Jesus, he too will be convinced. How awesome is all of this? Like Andrew and Philip, what about we bringing people to Jesus? You know, later in John's Gospel, some Greeks come up to Philip and say, Sir, we want to see Jesus. And Philip, who does he run to? Andrew. And together they bring these non-Jews to meet the Lord. Why can't we just be the same? Why can't we be as enthusiastic about connecting our family members and friends with the Lord? Yes, some might be cynical. That shouldn't stop us. So many are people in our day and age are really suffering precisely because God is not in their life. They don't know Jesus as their personal Savior. And sometimes, sadly, we Christians have been the one that pushed them away. Whatever may be the case, what's there to stop you and me from inviting someone to a Bible lecture or a presentation on our faith? Perhaps we can get them to watch one of Bishop Robert Barron's great presentations on Catholicism, or maybe we'd find time to have a heart-to-heart -heart with someone who's hurting. You know, outreach that demonstrates our commitment to love each other as Jesus told us we should, to bring others to Christ. Behind me uh, is a famous batik print by a Japanese artist named Sadao Watanabe. Uh, it was done in the year of my birth, 1947. And in it we see Jesus with the apostles in the boat and Peter trying to walk on water. Thank you for listening and for being present to us and continue to pray for us as we pray for you, especially pray for our vocations. God bless.